Speaking during his State of the Region address, Wakudumo says a number of projects and programs were implemented in all the six constituencies. This include the completion of the construction of infrastructure in the Ndiona settlement, Rundu, and at Divundu village. In addition, he says, the maintenance of the road and electrification program in Diona, water, housing, infrastructure development in Rundu and Divundu were also some of the projects completed during last financial year. In the road infrastructure development, the construction of the district road DR3402 from the University of Namibia intersection via Kaisosi to Ubungubungu irrigation scheme Kayengona Clinic, Shambu Traditional Authority Palace, Rundu Rural Constituency Office is due to be completed by the 31st of July 2022. This 10,1 kilometer road is being upgraded to a low volume seal bitumen and will cost road fund administration an amount of 29,949,000 Namibian dollars. On the education front, Wakudumo says it remains the regional government's first priority in its human development endeavor. During the period under review, 21 schools benefited from the construction of ablution facilities to the amount of 12,629,752 Namibian dollars. Furthermore, an amount of 6,255,872 Namibian dollars was spent for the construction of 14 classrooms at Rebecca Kambundu Primary School and Sarusungu Sin Junior Primary School. The Kavango East Governor also highlighted achievements in the health sector. When it comes to TB, a total of 497 cases were notified. With TB treatment success rate of 90.8 and antiretroviral treatment ART 99.4% of all clients tested were initiated on treatment. The regional viral suppression rate stands at 96%. On voluntary medical May circumcision, VMMC, the region had an annual target of 1,006. The region, however, did very well and exceeded the target to 3,597 clients circumcised. The dryland crop production and the national horticulture support programs, as well as poultry value chain scheme, continue to be implemented in the region. Despite such achievements, the governor stressed that the COVID-19 continues to threaten developmental efforts in the region.